multi-talented music titan Quincy Jones has died at 91. His publicist said he died on Sunday night at his home in the Bel Air section of Los Angeles, surrounded by his family. Tonight, with full but broken hearts, we must share the news of our father and brother Quincy Jones passing, the family said in a statement. And although this is an incredible loss for our family, we celebrate the great life that he lived and know there will never be another like him. Jones left a vast legacy that ranged from producing Michael Jackson's historic thriller album to writing prize-winning film and television scores. He also collaborated with Frank Sinatra, Ray Charles and hundreds of other recording artists. Jones rose from running with gangs on the south side of Chicago to the very heights of show business, becoming one of the first black executives to thrive in Hollywood and amassing an extraordinary musical catalog that includes some of the richest moments of rhythm and song. He kept company with presidents and foreign leaders, movie stars and musicians, philanthropists and business leaders. He toured with Count Basie and Lionel Hampton, arranged records for Sinatra and Ella Fitzgerald, composed the soundtracks for Roots and, in the heat of the night, organized President Bill Clinton's first inaugural celebration and oversaw the all-star recording of We Are the World, the 1985 charity record for famine relief in Africa. Top honors likely go to his productions with Jackson, Off the Wall, Thriller, and Bad were albums near universal in their style and appeal. Jones' versatility and imagination helped set off the explosive talents of Jackson as he transformed from child star to the king of pop. On such classic tracks as Billie Jean and Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, Jones and Jackson fashioned a global soundscape out of disco, funk, rock, pop, R&B and jazz and African chants. For Thriller, some of the most memorable touches originated with Jones, who recruited Eddie Van Halen for a guitar solo on the genre-fusing Beat It and brought in Vincent Price for a ghoulish voiceover on the title track. Thriller sold more than 20 million copies in 1983 alone and has contended with the Eagles' greatest hits 1971 to 1975, among others, as the best-selling album of all time. The list of his honors and awards fills 18 pages in his 2001 autobiography, Q including 27 Grammys at the time, now 28, an Honorary Academy Award and an Emmy for Roots. He also received France's Legion d'honneur, the Rudolf Valentino Award from the Republic of Italy and a Kennedy Center tribute for his contributions to American culture. He was the subject of a 1990 documentary, Listen Up, The Lives of Quincy Jones, and a 2018 film by daughter Rashida Jones. His memoir made him a best-selling author. I feel like the most blessed person on the planet to have come along the path that I came to musically from 13 years old, you know, starting with Ray Charles at 14, he was 16, and going to Clark Terry and Basie and Vinnie Carter, everybody from Billy Holiday, Louis Armstrong, all the way to 50 Cent. 
During the Ukrainian operation in Russia's Kursk Oblast, launched in August 2024, the Russians have lost almost 8,000 soldiers, which is about 15 battalions. The press service of the commander of the air assault forces of the armed forces of Ukraine said this. The exact number of Russian losses over that period of time amounted to 7,980 people. The air assault forces noted that serious achievements were also made in terms of Russian equipment and weapons. In total, 58 tanks, 182 infantry fighting vehicles, 46 armored personnel carriers, 136 artillery systems, two multiple launch rocket systems, 592 vehicles, 46 electronic warfare systems and other special equipment were destroyed or damaged. The paratroopers captured nearly 300 Russian soldiers and seized nine tanks, nine armored personnel carriers, nine guns, six mortars, etc. The air assault forces reported that during the Kursk operation, they destroyed three helicopters and 146 Russian drones. In addition, 9,874 Russian FPV drones were suppressed by electronic warfare systems. Ukraine launched its cross-border incursion into Kursk Oblast on October the 6th, claiming to initially seize some 1,300 square kilometers, but recently facing mounting pressure as Russia pulls in reinforcements. Ukrainian troops continue active operations in the Kursk direction, destroying the enemy's combat potential for the third month in a row. Through open-source research, MediaZona, a Russian independent media outlet together with BBC Russia, confirmed the names of 75,382 Russian soldiers who had been killed since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion. Since MediaZona's last update in mid-October, the names of 2,483 Russian soldiers have been added to the list of casualties. The journalists note that the actual figures are likely significantly higher as their verified information comes from public sources such as obituaries, posts by relatives, regional media reports and statements from local authorities. The last few weeks amid ongoing battles in Ukraine's eastern oblasts, as well as in Russia's Kursk Oblast, Russian forces have experienced some of its heaviest losses since the start of the full-scale war. According to some experts, the surge in losses in recent months may be one of the factors behind the deployment of North Korean troops to Russia, which reportedly began fighting alongside Russian forces in limited numbers on October the 29th. According to Midiazana's estimates, a majority of those killed in action come from Rostov, Sverdlovsk, Bashkiria, and Chelyabinsk oblasts, as well as the Buryatia Republic. A surge of recruitment by the Kremlin in the predominantly Muslim regions of Bashkortostan and Tatarstan have also showed an increase in those killed in action in recent months.